Ayurveda gives a lot of information on how we can keep up a good balance in these two areas, Ahara and Vihara. Very specific instruction on, you know, the food, what food is good for, what type of, you know, uh, body type. You know, when I say body type, the concept of body constitution or the concept of Prakriti is very well explained in the Ayurvedic classics. Body constitution in Sanskrit it is Prakriti. Prakriti means nature. Everyone has their own specific nature. And that nature or Prakriti is derived at the time of, you know, the inception. We born with certain qualities. Structural, functional qualities. And that will never change. See, when I move from one country to another country, I may change my dress pattern, I may change my food pattern, or I may change few things, but these are all very superficial changes, right? The core individual, wherever they go, you know, whatever be their age, there are certain core signature, certain core features. That is called Prakriti or the body constitution. And that is nothing but the, the particular state of dosha. The definition of that prakriti or constitution in Ayurveda is very simple. It is a state of dosha that will be existing in an individual during the whole life period. It is generated on its own during the inception. And that will be same throughout the life. And that dosha state will not cause any disease on its own. That is the body constitution or body type. So it's a dosha state. So there is a vata constitution, there is a pitta constitution, kapha constitution and the combination. There are total seven body types or seven prakritis. A vata type, a pitta type, a kapha type and the combinations vata pitta Vata Kapha, Pitta Kapha, finally the combination of all the three together. It is called Tridosha Prakriti or Sama Prakriti, Balanced Prakriti. And according to the constitution, the features, the physical features, the functions, the attitude, everything varies. And uh, they will carry the features, dominant features of their Prakriti Dosha. For example, Vata is the principle of movement, right? The principle of dynamism. So a Vata constitution will be always mobile. They cannot sit and relax. They will be always moving. They will have in inconsistent thinking. Sticking onto a decision or position will be difficult for them. They are generally lean in nature. They are inconsistent in their all routines. They are very talkative people. So these are all the features of Vata dominance because Vata is the principle of movement. Now take Pitta constitution. Pitta is fire, predominantly fire, right? So they will have the fire influence. They cannot tolerate heat. They are very sensitive in nature. Very systematic in approach. You know, about time and space. They are very, very systematic but they want everything to move according to their you know their uh, decision or desire or they will get easily affected big big problem they may take easy but small small thing can disturb them you know their approach is either my way or the highway that is the the pitta constitution then comes the kapha constitution kapha is Earth and water, the heaviest elements, right? Kapha is heavy, sticky, cold. So they tend to have, you know, heavy body. They are a bit slow and lazy in nature. Because Kapha is more slow. And they like warm. You know, they need always the stimulation, you know. Their approach is always, their attitude is, we'll do it tomorrow. That is a general 
you know, feature. So these are all some information about, uh, you know, different constitutions. And our food routine, etc. If we can customize based on the constitution, that will also help to preserve the health. <laughs>